We start tonight with a series of swatting incidents in Michigan. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Brian Abel. And I'm Glenda Lewis. At least 10 of the incidents were reported across the state today, including here on High School in Ann Arbor and Renaissance High School in Detroit. If you don't know, the FBI defines swatting as when someone makes a hoax call to 911 to draw a response from law enforcement. 7 Action News reporter Whitney Burney joins us now with what police and parents are saying about it. As evidenced by the busy parking lot here at Renaissance High School, that spoof call did not stop learning here today, but neighbors tell me there was quite the police response to it. Police, administrators and parents are now saying enough is enough. This afternoon, class is in session at Renaissance High School. But this morning, yet another anonymous caller threatened to end the day early. Police in Detroit receiving a call about a shooting within the school building. That call turned out to be completely false. The first thing is, I want to know if it's real or not. I mean, you know, what's a prank and what's real? A scary scenario for parents of all ages. My kids are grown, but I will be terrorized to send them to school nowadays, I would be totally worried. The same call went out to Ann Arbor police regarding Huron High School. Police saying they believe it's a part of a nationwide spoof call. I never had to worry about that going to high school, elementary, middle school, and it just seems like throughout every, you know, grade level, like it's becoming more and more common. Parent of three, Latia Knight, says she'd like to see something done. There are kids who actually go to this school and people are at work, they're getting calls about, hey, you got to pick your kid up because there's like a bomb threat or whatnot. It's pretty scary. In a video statement today, Attorney General Dana Nessel says some Michigan law enforcement agencies are getting hundreds of the swatting calls. Now, whether these are real threats made by those intent on doing harm or just pranks made by kids trying to get a day off, they are real crimes and carry real consequences. Like a felony charge and up to 20 years behind bars. Parents say they hope to see less of this in the near future. You never know like what kind of issues maybe a child is having at home and it's causing them to do these kind of things or, you know, make these kind of threats. I'm not sure, but definitely makes me nervous sending them to school. Police are still working to determine who is behind the spoof calls. We've also learned that the Michigan ATF is a part of that investigation. Reporting here in Detroit, Whitney Burney, 7 Action News.